internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new friend online, and she's from over on the east side of the world, over by the, the ocean there, and her name is Pamela. How are you doing, Pamela? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you, Magic. So it's one hour? It's one hour over there from Central Time, right? I believe so, yeah, yes. I was in Asheville, North Carolina for a while. I think it's just one hour. No big deal. Yeah. Easy breezy. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is find out who you are. And uh, do you have kids? You married? You got pets? Who the heck are you? Well, my name is Pam Gockley, and I uh, started a business 21 years ago, and have been off to the races ever since that. During that time, I actually got married to my partner, so we have separate offices, and it works. So he does one part of the business, and I do another part of the business. So we it works out really well. I have two fur babies, two kitty cats, who I love dearly, and. I decided early on that I did not want children uh, by choice and um, you know you have to feed those things every day so you know I thought it would be better for me not to go that route sure. you know some people are like oh I'm like no I decided not to have children um, and I love my fur babies and I have a great husband yay so you said you started a business so well, that's the next question is what do you do what is it that you do on this uh, business we started 21 years ago as a marketing company and we help businesses grow their business uh, through um, connecting with your customers. So when the economy crashed in 2008, we everything changed. And I help businesses who have not made that transition to customer centric and are still thinking they can put ads in traditional marketing and, and they can tell people how great they are, which is not going to work. And I help them transition into a more customer centric, modern way of uh, doing business, just like you and I are talking today. That, that's you know, the way that, uh, ago, this, was not, this was not going to happen. That's kind of the way that the world works nowadays. And it's more evident now than ever because of this internet thing. And I think it's also very important that a business that doesn't quite get this to say, you know what, I just don't get this, and to work with someone like you that does get it because it's very, very time intensive. Should I be on Facebook? Should I be on LinkedIn? Should I do videos? Should I do podcasts? Ah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Be, if it's not me, work with a professional who has the credibility and the experience to do it. Um, I rail against people who claim they can um, fix issues but have no solutions. So um, been around a while. Well, there's, there's too many things to watch these days for an individual, a single business owner to deal with all these different things. So it's best to outsource to someone that does get that. It's, and the nice thing is you don't have to have them as an employee. You can use them as contractor. So when Absolutely. do you when, when do you do your work? Do you do your, I mean, personally, are you an AM or a PM person? You must be an AM person because you're here now. <laughs> I am an AM person. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I, well, when, love, I love getting up early in the morning. Absolutely. Is that when you work when you're with your clients, or do you work? Are you like a, like a helper on call kind of person? Uh, we're kind of on on call because of the the internet itself is twenty four seven. So we do have our own server. We do do hosting. So we're kind of available twenty four seven to our clients. Absolutely. Got it. And then um, where do you do your work? Do you actually go to the clients' offices, or do you do it all remotely, or do you have an office that you do? like a studio or something like that that you guys work out of? And the really nice thing is I do all three of those. You know, I do have my own office. I can work remotely. And I do, my favorite is face-to-face. -face. So if it's mm -hmm. at all possible, I get face-to-face, -face, whether it's in the same room or a Skype. I do a lot of Skype meetings because I like to see people's faces. Because you can tell a lot about a person by how their, how their body language is. Sometimes I don't even listen to what they say so much. I hate to admit that. But I just, I just look how they're looking, you know. Crossed arms. And, and being face to face. Like this. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, so um, you're a social you know. media expert, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Roll, roll the eyes, shake of the head. So yeah. I, I, at, at all costs, I try to get in 
the face to face. But if not, phone call or email or texting works as well. I like to get the the video thing. That's why I'm doing these all videos so people can know who you are and not think because you, you could be anybody from the Philippines or who knows where posing as you. And it's nice to actually see you without a a fake green screen beach behind you and all that. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not on the internet. It's not real. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I don't like to take too much time, but can you kind of su summarize your process of how you do your work? Sure. I've actually written two books. Uh, one's called The Reputation Factor and the other one's called The Art of Running Red Lights. And in those two books, I lay out how I fixed our business. So we were so successful with the transition to a reputation centric uh, customer centric process and using a reputation strategy I actually wrote a book on it and I help people either work through it if they need a little bit of accountability if they're overwhelmed nobody can do this all on their own but the book is available that you can work through until you get stuck some people call me I'm like I'm not sure about this part so I, I created four steps it's called the four D's it's discover where you are define where you want to go you develop it, you get there, and then you defend it. Unfortunately, in this world with the internet, anybody can say anything anywhere. You have to have a an insurance defendable plan, emergency action plan in place. Oh, that's an so interesting. That's basically approach. the steps. I like steps. I'm a metrics person, so don't tell me to go uh, write a resume. Give me the outline to write the resume. Then I can do that. So this is this is an outline for business owners and for personal and professional to, to follow their own. Because people are do-it-yourselfers. <clears throat> excuse me. So I wrote the book based on what I did to turn our business around. I would never tell you to do anything I haven't already tried. Okay. Well, before I get into my favorite question, then I've got one other final question for you. But uh, could you tell us how to get a hold of you, your website, domain names, and all that kind of stuff? Sure, because people have really taken the word reputation and have created a definition for it that I don't agree with, I created my own word. It's called repu reputatus. Or, so it's reputatus.com or pamelagockley.com or my two websites. So I do a lot of speaking, a lot of training, and a lot of consulting as well. So uh, this it takes a lot to transition a business, but with somebody beside you, it's not that bad to do. It's not that bad. Okay. So you can either get me through uh, my websites um, or, um, yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way to get me is my and websites. And I will put the, those links on these videos when I propagate them out and stuff too, so people can just find it with a click. So okay, awesome. here's my first, just a general question. What does the word abundance mean to you? Just you know, a couple sentences. Since I turned 50, abundance to me is time. It's just time and making time for myself and rejuvenating myself and working on uh, me. And I, I don't want that to sound selfish, but it is. I'm not going to do good for anybody if I'm not taking care oh, of. Oh, I totally and get I that. Fight. I finally realized that. I totally get that. That's kind of like the oxygen mask in the airplane. You put it on yourself you put it before you put it on other people. Because the reality is, is if you're – somebody's calling in here. There we go. Answer it. Who is if, it? No, you, I'm kidding. It's uh, <laughs> some other Skyper. You, you must be you he's interested in getting a hold of me. That is good. So yeah, nice. I've got some time devices here because I'm into the time thing because it is, it is the one thing that we all have in common is time. Even though it's uh, made up in our heads of what time actually is, but you know the earth, yeah. earth spins and things happen and it's the same for everybody. So here's my favorite question and then we'll uh, sign this bad boy off and propagate it up to the universe. Yay. The question is the big why. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you a school teacher? Why aren't you like a Olympic skier or have your own yoga studio? Why did you pick this for a career? I'm not sure I picked it. I think it picked me. Um, I, I think I'm very passionate about people finding and fixing things. When I was first interviewed about 20 years ago, they named me the fixer. And in business, it just makes sense. This just makes sense. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at sports. Uh, I'm competitive, but not for me. I'm competitive for my clients, which, you know, may sound a little trite, but this is where I should be. And finally, it only took me 50 years to figure out this is my passion and this is where I need to be. 
I need to be right now. Got it. Well, it's refreshing. Most of the people, when I ask that question, it boils down to they're doing it for other people kind of thing. That's kind of the why, working for your clients. And that's, mm-hmm. uh, that's encouraging to uh, that maybe humanity can come back together again. <laughs> I hope so. I'm working on it too. <laughs> okay. Well, that's part of the, the goal of this is to get the online chatter back into real life activities. So I appreciate you taking your time this morning you. and um, I will get this out into the, the internet and I'll send it, uh, send some links to you. And if you could synergize and propagate them up also, we'll wow. rising tide lifts all boats, so to speak. So thank you, Pam, for taking the time. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Red signing off. Be well. Bye-bye.